Creative journaling is an incredible way to tap into your creativity, record your thoughts and experiences, and practice self-expression. However, even the most passionate journalers can fall into the common pitfalls that stifle their creativity and make the process feel like a chore. In this video, we'll explore 7 mistakes to avoid to keep your creative juices flowing and make the most of your journaling journey. Mistake number 1. Waiting for the perfect moment. Many creative journalers get caught up in the idea that they need to be in the right mood, setting, or headspace to journal effectively. We envision the perfect ambiance, a cozy desk, a cup of tea, the right playlist, and uninterrupted time. But the truth is, there's no such thing as the perfect journaling moment. Creative ideas can come at any time, and waiting for that ideal environment can cause you to miss out on spontaneous bursts of inspiration. Instead, embrace the imperfect. Some of the most beautiful journal entries happen in messy everyday moments. Carry a pocket-sized journal or traveler's notebook insert with you and jot down thoughts while waiting for your coffee, commuting, or when outside. Don't worry about creating a masterpiece every time. You can always revisit and expand on those ideas later. Often, the rawness and immediacy of these quick entries hold more emotion and authenticity than a planned, perfect, polished bread. By staying ready and letting go of perfectionism, you'll find that your journal becomes a living, breathing record of your daily life. Capture not just your planned thoughts, but the unexpected moments that shape your creativity. Mistake number two, overthinking and self-editing. Do you ever spend more time staring at a blank page than actually writing? This is a common struggle for many creative journalers. The pressure to create something meaningful or aesthetically perfect can cause us to freeze up unsure of how to begin. But journaling is not about perfection. It's about freely expressing yourself without judgment or censorship. So whether you're using your journal to capture memories, practice gratitude, or explore emotions, the key is to let go of the need for everything to look perfect. In creative journaling, remember that mistakes or imperfections can add to the charm of your pages. Smudge ink, cross out words, or misalign stickers are all part of your unique journey. Mistake number three, staying stuck in a rut. It's so easy to get comfortable with a particular journaling style or format. Maybe you've been using the same layout for months, or you always stick to a specific type of journaling like written entries. While consistency can be comforting, it can quickly lead to stagnation and boredom. In creative journaling, it's important to push your boundaries and let your journal evolve with you. If your journaling practice feels repetitive, it may be time to shake things up. Mix things up by experimenting with different prompts, techniques, materials, and styles. So as a tip, give yourself permission to break your own rules. If your journal is typically minimalistic, challenge yourself to create maximally spread filled with color layers and overlapping textures. Don't be afraid to explore journaling in ways that feel uncomfortable at first. You might discover new creative techniques that reignite your passion for the practice. Mistake number four, neglecting self-care. Journaling is often seen as a form of self-care, a way to process thoughts, reduce stress, and nurture creativity. But sometimes, we can turn our journaling practice into another source of pressure or obligation, especially when we set rigid expectations for ourselves. You might find yourself stressing over missed entries, feeling like you have to create a perfect spread, or worrying about keeping up with the daily journaling challenges. 
When journaling begins to feel like a chore instead of a creative outlet, it's time to reassess your approach. Instead of seeing it as a task to complete, think of it as a safe space to express yourself without judgment or deadlines. Some days, you might only have the energy for a few lines, while other days you might want to dive into an intricate spread full of artwork and writing. And that's perfectly okay. Mistake number five, comparing your journey to others. In the age of social media where beautifully created journal spreads fill platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing your creative journaling practice to others. You might see perfectly organized layouts, intricate designs, or flawless calligraphy, and suddenly feel like your own journal is not good enough. But the truth is, every journaling journey is unique and there's no right way to journal. Creative journaling is a deeply personal experience. Your journal is meant to reflect your thoughts, your emotions, and your artistic style. What works for someone else, whether it's their style, materials, or process, may not work for you, and that's perfectly fine. The beauty of journaling is that it's a space where you can be unapologetically yourself, with no rules or external expectation. As a tip, take a break from social media when you feel overwhelmed by comparison. Instead of focusing on how others are doing things, ask yourself, what brings you joy in your journaling practice? What makes you feel creatively fulfilled? Let those answers guide your process and celebrate the fact that your journal is a unique reflection of your personal journey. Mistake number six, neglecting visual elements. Words are powerful, but incorporating visual elements into your journaling practice can unlock new depths of creativity and expression. Don't be afraid to experiment with doodles, stamps, stickers, collages, or even incorporating found objects or ephemera into your journal pages. And mistake number seven, letting fear hold you back. For some, the idea of pouring their innermost thoughts and feelings onto the page can be daunting. Fear of judgment, vulnerability, or even self-criticism can prevent you from fully embracing the creative journaling experience. You might worry about what your entries will reveal, how they will look, or if they are good enough, which can cause hesitation and self-doubt. However, it's important to remember that your journal is a safe, private space for self-expression. It's meant to be a place where you can explore, reflect, and experiment without fear or limits. Remember, your journal is private. Remind yourself that no one else will read your journal unless you choose to share it. This is your personal space to be as honest and open as you want without fear of judgment. Thanks so much for watching. I hope these tips help you avoid some common mistakes and make your creative journaling practice even more enjoyable. Remember, journaling is a personal journey and there's no right way to do it, just your way. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What's one mistake you've made in your journaling journey and how did you overcome it? Let's chat in the comments below. And if you're just starting out, or looking to refresh your journaling routine, be sure to check out my Journaling for Beginners playlist where I share even more tips and ideas to help you on your creative journey. Happy journaling and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!